Let's look at how to make text go around a circle. These are a few examples of a stamp or a badge type of look. So first we need to draw a circle. If you go to your rectangle tool or hit L on the keyboard, you can use your ellipse tool to create a circle. I'm going to click, drag, and hold down the shift key to keep it in proportion. Next, we want our text tool. We're going to click and hold to access the type on a path tool. And I'm going to click at the bottom anchor. This text is going to show up at the top and I'll show you why we need to click on the bottom. So I'm going to type Samantha. And I have my text alignment to the left. I usually like to center it in case in the future I needed to make any adjustments to the live text. So you'll see when I center it, it actually goes to the top. Next, I'm going to start stylizing this a bit to match what I have up here. So I've chosen Gotham Medium. And to make this all uppercase, we go to Character. And you can do all caps. Another way to do that would be to go to Type. Change Case, Uppercase and I'm going to change the tracking by going to character and I'm going to do 200 which is the max. I'm also going to make this optical just for um, better typography. So let's increase the font size. To get more tracking between the letters we're going to hold down your option, your alt key and click your right arrow to get more space or if you do your left arrow, it'll make less space. So in this case, I'm just going to hold down the right arrow. Now, to get the opposite text flipped around there, I'm going to do a copy, Command C, and a paste in place, Command F. Or if you're not using your keyboard, you can do F, paste in place. Okay, now we need to double click on the type tool again. Let's turn on preview. And this time we're going to do a flip. And I'm going to change this to center. Do OK. Go back to your selection tool, V. And we're going to rotate this 180 degrees. Now, when I click on this circle, I'm going to get the selection of the top one. You can manage that by either in your layers tool, you can lock one or the other because they're overlapping paths. All right, so now they're both centered. I'm going to unlock that one. Another way to lock would be with the selection tool. You can hit Command 2 and that will lock it. You can see in my layers. And you can turn off and on whichever one you're, if you get confused. So I'm going to change this to say Jonathan. Usually in the characters palette, if I am working with uppercase, I'll just use this all caps in the characters to keep it all caps. So now we have our circles. If you don't want to worry about the locking situation, if that gets confusing, you can always use your alignment tools and select both of your circles. Go to align align to selection and hit center horizontally and center vertically. I'm going to copy this just so you can see the recreation of. Let's draw another circle here. Okay. 
Use my eyedropper eye. Make sure these are centered. Let's say we want to create this little spacing, like it's cut, the circle's cut. Let me show you how to add that. I'm going to resize my circle so it bisects right through the text. I'm going to send that to the back. So Command Shift left bracket or object arrange send to back. Now I'm going to lock it command 2 and there's a few ways you can add that spacing. One way could be to duplicate the text. So copy command C and command B to paste it behind and we can add a white stroke to the back of that. So let's make that a stroke and make it white. If we increase the stroke, you can see now we have a nice white behind that. Another way you could do to make uh, to cut the circle would be to use your scissors. I don't usually do that because I don't want to lose my circle that I created, but you can cut a point and delete the piece of the circle. But if you decided later you wanted to adjust the tracking here on the letters, you you may have to recreate your circle again. So always make copies and play around with whatever works for your workflow. So I'm going to go ahead and lock both of the Samanthas because I'm done with that. I'm going to select Jonathan. So Command C, Command B, paste behind. And let's add a stroke behind that one. If you do Shift X, you can get back to, you can change that to a stroke instead of a fill. And if you increase this more, you can get a little bit more of a gap. You can see I'm starting to get some overlap here on my logo. Um, one thing we can do to manage that would be to go to stroke and change your corner to a round joint. If you still have some overlap, depending on the design, you're just going to want to bring this part forward. So Command Shift Right Bracket or Object Arrange Send to Front to keep your order. And we can make our last iteration of the stamp, making sure if everything's unlocked. If you want to unlock everything, you can do Command Option 2. And I'm holding down Option Shift as I selected everything to copy everything. If you do, I'm going to lock my text here. So I'm grabbing just the circle. Uh, holding down Option Shift. I'm going to remove these stroke text. So my layers panel, you can select by clicking on the right side, this little circle, if it's not locked. So I'm going to copy Command C, and this time you can do Command F to paste in place. Option Shift, click and scale down. And now we have a badge or a stamp logo.